What's up, Fire Fan? My name's Caravaya, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Today, I'm going to show you some resource locations so you can get yourself ready and, uh, you know, get all the stuff you need. So, this is going to cover things like, you know, crystalline sulfur. We're also going to cover diamonds and all of those goodies. We're also going to cover, you know, all the basics copper, lead, uh, you know, titanium is pretty obvious, but I'll go over it anyway. Gold and silver. All of that good stuff and i'll show you where to get some of these vital uh, ingredients that you're going to need in the new world in this guide i'm also going to be referring to one of the maps that they have you could just type it in google and it comes up pretty much i'm doing this because you don't really get a map of this uh, area so i want to kind of show you the areas where to get kind of things that you need to make it more clear to you where i am and where my location is then you can see the compass at the top of my screen the first place you're going to come to is one of the most essential spots I think you always should come in the beginning, especially if you need some of the basic materials. It's a wonderful location, you can survive here uh, early on, but I do recommend you might want to go ahead and go and get some uh, protection stuff, so you might want to go into the caves nearby and go and get some of the heat fruit that might help you survive in the cold a little longer. You could do that by pretty much just running up either of the paths supported with the light bulbs and uh, going up and uh, pretty much grabbing the little dangly, yellowy, reddy, pinky fruits that you get. Now the great thing about this area is there is a lot of ore veins and the place I'm going to is just under the bridge so you can probably see a little bit easier underwater. I'm going to go further up and all along this kind of area you should see veins like this. This is what I'm looking at. You've got all the titanium in there that you could just pick out. So it's really easy resources just like that. And then if you come into the caves, you can get warm and grab fruit and grab more veins. There's one in here that's the location you're going to be led to at some point. But you come here early on and you can see I'm getting silver and copper ore out of here. And it's just that easy, you know. And these are all over the winter biome. So if you want to go here... I do recommend you bring a flare if you go really deep into the winter biome but it's a really good place to get a lot of ore uh, all of those essential ingredients without having to go and bash a bunch of rocks down now to locate this location itself it's actually about nearly a thousand meters away from my pod however the swim here and there is completely safe to do and if you're very stuck still on where it is if you were to look at the spawn and go on the left side hand of the wall you could reach here pretty easily actually and uh, you might find some like alien wires that will lead you here too that could help a lot so if we're to do a map reference you could see kind of over here arctic spires now i want to share a cool little tip if you're looking for ore you can go to a sea monkey and they'll offer you a bit any of the sea monkeys will come and offer you or it's really cute i only found this out the other day but you could just go and greet them and they might have some ore in their hands that they'll be willing to give you. You can find sea monkeys all in the kelp biome. They used to steal your stuff. I don't know if they still can steal your stuff, but if you come up to them empty-handed, they might offer you something. My next location is under the icebergs. These are relatively quite near spawn itself. You can get it on the right or the left side, but under these areas, particularly with these kinds of fruit you can find, it will be very dark and the reason i like these areas is you can get a lot of salt around here and that's not the only thing you get a lot of around here you can seem to get quite a bit of quartz under these as well so definitely do check it out under these little dark blue areas there could be a bunch of these uh, resources you can find under here so salt and quartz a wonderful place to come for these kind of materials Next we're going to be looking for diamond and we're also going to be looking for gel sack. And what we want to do is we want to come to the bottom of the twisty spires biome. So this is the biome with all the large kind of glittering tubes. And basically right at the bottom of it is this massive kind of crevice. You can come down here, just bring a sea glide and a rebreather. There's those plants you can suck on for oxygen. But it's a very kind of, you got to be careful down here because it's quite a scary place. Um, there is these red little plants with tentacle hands that can grab and pull you in, which you have to cut away. Uh, otherwise they'll kill you. And then you can find, uh, actually you can find loads of sea truck upgrades in here as well. I do recommend coming down here, 
those as well but we're looking for the sake of the video for the diamonds and the ore so we're going to use the kind of the sides of this area to avoid the squid shark in the middle and i'm going to travel all the way down the bottom and you should be able to find these gel sacks that you're going to need eventually in the game so you can pick those up another way down you go further down you're going to find the diamonds so you can see throughout the tunnels you've got diamonds on the wall and that's not the only place they are at if you actually go all the way into the bottom of the pit you can get like massive uh, ore nodes of those diamonds as well oh and here's one of the plants you need to be careful of you see that kind of look don't go near those at all if you can help it like no further than what i am right now otherwise they're gonna grab you funny enough though if you do find one of those and it's next to an oxygen plant kind of like on my screen there's a further down area you can go into and that's where the super nodes and stuff are so that's where you can get even more ore so this nice little area you can see these little cracks here they used to have geodes in them but i've taken them ah here's one you see there's tons of gold in here too that you can grab so this is a good place to come as well if you found those nasty plants there should be geode holes you can pluck ore out of there's about four in total here i think and then you can get other resources i think you could also get lithium down here if i remember right as well another great thing about the twisty bridges as well if you're looking for table coral that's where you get it as well and you can get plenty of galena outcrops which produce lead you can get all of the kind of resources you need in the twisty uh, spires here so do come here if you want some more resources like that table coral normal stuff crystal uh galena you can get silver as well and a few gold nodes also are uh, spread around here too for map reference the twisty bridges is very close to the drop pod either way so you can get right on in there our next area is a little bit more risky to get to but you can dodge these things quite easily either way there's a big kind of massive angry fish noise things in here but uh you should when you get close to it you should get a beacon pop up and it will lead you to the island with the signal tower it's one of the bases you can go to the reason i'm showing you this island is because it's a great area for crystalline sulfur so you'll be looking in these kind of pools you might find some or in the caves on this island you can also find a bunch of the stuff you need so that nice crystalline sulfur will be on the walls it'll be warm enough to farm around here as well so if you need that kind of stuff come here it's also a place you'll be coming for story as well next place we're going to is a great place for lithium so this is like a, a sulfury plains here you got purple geysers and this is a great place for these nodes the lithium nodes so if you go around here you should be able to pick up some of this great stuff that you need there's also quartz around here but you mostly do come here for that lithium because that's a, a very popular place for it this place can be a little bit more dangerous though you've got a lot more big fishes around here and i believe there might be a leviathan more towards the south of this area if it's still there from the old build uh so if you come more towards you know the signal tower island you know the big island with the signal tower and stuff um you come towards that end a little bit more it's a little bit safer and you can grab some bits and bobs while you're here so that lithium that you need this location is the yellow bit on the map so the purple vents they've called it on this little map here so if you go there you should find some lithium next place we're going is very far away from the drop pod and it is in the kind of kelpie biome it can be very hard to look around in this biome but we're looking for this kind of scenery around here so you got one of those uh, big indicators will be this big tentacly kind of electric wire and uh, when you look down you should see a massive kind of gap now you do want a sea truck coming down here and you probably want the first uh, depth module you can get on it to be able to get in as far as you can i could probably do with a depth module too to come down here really that's how deep it is but for now i'm gonna come down here just because i want to show you for tutorial's sake so as you can see already we got some uranium down here all along the sides and you come further into here make sure you watch your oxygen and if you're coming down early like me uh you can find this biome with all the kind of flowery orbs and this biome is very good so we got like flower spores down here if you need those spores this place is also a great place for rubies and these big old prawn suit ores that yeah uh, you're gonna need the drill for 
So you got rubies all the way in the bottom of here and all of that stuff as well. So do come down here for the uranium and the rubies and the spores and any of those kind of uh, rare resources you can definitely get down here. So you can farm down here with the, the one uh, depth crushing module for the sea truck quite easily. You just have to come up now and again for some air. If you don't know where this is, this is potentially like the middle of the lily pad island, so the green bit of this map. So right next to the purple vents, you'll come down from the purple vents biome and then you'll come into the lily pad islands. If you want the magnemite ore, I found that you can get this with the penglings. If you go in the arctic zone, they, uh, there's actually one you can get some easy stuff in in the first biome where you go to near one of the bases is a place that you will drive a pengling into and there's a few of those nice magnetite uh, resource nodes there you can pick up to get started with but anyway i think that's all i have to discuss today in my little resource guide i hope you found this very helpful for your journey and discoveries but anyway thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye yeah.